Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about Newton's first law. So, before we start talking about Newton's first law, let's talk about when forces are balanced. In this diagram here, I've got a book on a table. We know that the weight is pushing down here. Right, and there's another force pushing up. Equally, this is going to be the reaction force. Right, we can see that the, both the forces are balanced because both the arrows are the same size. Therefore, when the forces are balanced upon an object, we know it will not move. So that's the first thing. The object will not move. So when the forces are balanced upon an object, the object will not move. But there is another scenario when the forces are balanced and the objects are still moving. Let's look at two examples. Let's scroll down here. So, forces balance for moving objects. So, in this one, we've got a skydiver who jumps out of a plane, and we've got a car just on a road here. Let's label the forces. So, downwards is the weight, and upwards is the air resistance. The car is moving in this direction here, so here is the thrust. And moving back is going to be the friction. Right. We can clearly see that for these examples, the forces are balanced, but it is still moving. So yes, the forces are still balanced. So the forces are balanced still, but the object is still moving. So the object is still moving. Object is still moving, but this time it will move at a constant speed. So it's still moving, but it will move at a constant, at a constant speed. So to summarize, make sure we get our head around this. When the forces are balanced, either it's the object will not move at all, or it will move at a constant speed. And that is Newton's first law of motion. So we'll scroll down for a quick summary. So what is Newton's first law? Here's the summary. If the forces, so I'll just highlight a bit, if the forces on an object are balanced, the object will continue to do what it's already doing. So it will remain doing what it's already doing. So if it was not moving at the start, it will remain not moving. So if the object is stationary, it will remain stationary. If the object is moving, it will now move at a constant speed. So there we go. When the object is already moving, it will now continue to move at the same velocity, which is the same speed in the same direction. Very simple lesson for Newton's first law. Make sure we get our head around it because we need it for the next lesson when we're tackling Newton's second law of motion. And that's it for today, guys. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.